I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data analytics and data engineering. This week, we're going to return to our Microsoft Access playlist, and we're going to talk about how to get the last row for a particular variable or column in your table. And a lot of people don't know how to get the last row. Uh, good examples are how to get the last status if it's a table that's just full of statuses. And uh, there's many statuses, say, for one person, and you just want the last one with all of the data. Uh, or it could be, you know, orders or anything like that. Uh, it's a very useful uh, query to, to be able to know how to do. And as a data analyst, you've got to know how to do this one. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so I went ahead and created a, a file here called accessdata.actdb, and I created a table in it called visit. And what we're going to look at this time is some visitors uh, that have a visit date and mood and clothing in our table. Um, and you can see that uh, there's multiple row entries for each uh, person who makes visits. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to just uh, create a new query using uh, query design and I chose the visit table uh, for my query. You can also click the close button on the pop-up that comes and you can just drag the table on there. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to grab two columns. First of all our visitor and our visit date and then we're going to click the summary uh, totals button at the top and we're going to change our total to max for the visit date. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us the highest date or the latest date for each visitor. And we're going to make that into uh, one query. So you can see Harry, you can see his last date there, you can see Sarah's last date, uh, Melissa, Liz, and Jim. And that's going to be a nice little query that we're going to save and uh, we're going to save that on its own uh, so that we can use it in another query to get the last uh, records for each person. So we save that query as visit underscore last and we'll use that query in a new query. So we'll start this again. This time I'll just click close on the pop-up and I'll just drag on the query that I want and I'll also drag on the visit uh, table. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a join between the two and we're going to use two fields, the visitor and the visit date, so that it'll limit all of the selections to everything that matches on the visitor and visit date and we have specified the last visit date in our visit last query. So we'll call our new query uh, visit last row so that we're getting all of the data items in the row. You could have a hundred fields in there. And as you can see, when we open this one, uh, we can see that we have each of the people that are making visits and we can see their last visit record, which has all of the data uh, for their last visit. So what if we wanted to look at a different view uh, of using the last uh, last row. Uh, say we wanted to look at uh, the last mood that happened. Uh, when was each mood used the last time? Or some other variable. And we'll do it the same way. Uh, we'll uh, grab the mood field. We'll add the visit date. We'll click the totals tab like we did before. And we'll set it to max so that we have the highest date again. And we'll save that as mood underscore last. And as you can see here, we can see the last time each of the moods was used when we run that query. And just the same as the, the first query, we'll do the same thing. We'll grab our mood last and we'll grab the visit table just like we did. And we'll join it this time on the mood and the uh, visit date. So that'll give us all the full record detail if we click double click the star there, that'll give us the full query detail, uh, all of the fields for the last row for each time that the, a mood was used. 
and we can go ahead and open that query and you can see that uh, this query has a different number of rows than the previous one because there's one row for each of the moods and this includes good, angry, sad, happy, nervous, and depressed and the associated date that the last time for the last time it was observed. And you can see that the users might have more than one entry in this query. And that is how you get the last row for any series in Access. Well, I hope you enjoyed our video today on getting the last status uh, of any particular column in your table uh, using our uh, nested query in Microsoft Access. If you like what you saw today, please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And please click the bell when you see the bell so that you'll be notified of any new material uh, that I put up on the channel. If you have any questions or comments, uh, or if you'd like more uh, examples or anything like that, feel free to uh, comment in the comment section below and I'll be happy to, uh, to respond. I hope you're all having a great week and I'll catch you later.